Hey everybody, it's Miss A and I am here with a math video for friendly facts division. So this is a strategy that will eventually lead us into <coughs> excuse me, partial quotients. <coughs> Um, we first thing we had to do is we had to define friendly facts. We've had um, friendly numbers before, and um, as the kids can tell you, friendly numbers are numbers that we break apart a bigger number um, where they're easy to compute, easy numbers to compute. Well, friendly facts <coughs> are, are multiplication facts that we know really easily. So we're going to start off with defining friendly facts. <coughs> Excuse me. There are multiplication facts. <coughs> that um, are known easily. And that may, um, that varies, yes, I -L -Y, that varies per um, student. Some students, their friendly facts are like, let's say we're doing our fours tables, four times one is four, four times two is eight. 4 times 5 is 20, and 4 times 10 is 40. Those are our friendly facts because most kids know their 1s and 10s, and then their 2s and 5s are really easy for them to compute. Now, some um, students may have a bigger arsenal of friendly facts, like they may know their doubles, or they may know their 9s tables. So um, your friendly facts are numbers, are facts that are known easily to you, or they're easy to compute. We don't want kids trying to, um, with this, we're not trying to figure out each multiplication fact. That's what we did yesterday. This is a strategy that actually is really helpful for those students who aren't familiar with their facts. And it helps them still be able to actually divide only knowing a few facts and the multiples of those facts. So these are our, our general friendly facts from our 0 to 12 tables, but we also need to know the multiples of that. So if I know 4 times 2 is 8, well, 4 times 20 is 80. I know that. It's 4 times 2 and add a place value 0. If 4 times 5 is 20, well, 4 times 50, that's 200. If 4 times 10 is 40, well, 4 times 100 is 400. And you can continue to go as high as you need to go. Let's say um, 4 times 500, that's 2,000. I might need to go that high. And we use this strategy to help us with those larger dividends. So I'm gonna, I am going, since I already did my friendly facts, which is... All right, so we have finished our friendly facts. So we got our... Facts that we are familiar with are, and most kids are familiar with their ones tables, tens tables, and their twos and fives. If they're not, if they don't have them memorized, they're super easy to figure out, and the multiples of that. So that's the step one with doing friendly facts. Step two is subtracting. So we are going to take our quotient. So let me get my division problem. Let's say it is 2,986 divided by four. I take my dividend. Oh, this is a little crooked. I take my dividend and I subtract out chunks of my friendly facts. So, or I was, let's do 4,000 actually. Let me do 4,000. That way you can see how it works. Um, so I'm looking at my um, friendly facts here and I want to take out the biggest chunk that I have. So when I'm looking at my multiples, I have 4, 8, 20, 40, 80, 200, 400, and 2,000. Since this is 4,000, 986, and I'm going to go ahead and write it over here. I want to subtract out the biggest chunk I can, so I'm going to subtract out 2,000. And this is like writing, instead of writing it um, this way where you do factor, factor, multiple, it'll be multiple, factor, factor. And then what I do is I circle what I multiply times my divisor to get how many times I use that for. So this is the second step, subtracting out. So now I'm going to subtract, that's 2,986. Looking at my multiples again, I can pull out another 2,000. And that's still 4 times 500. And I circle the 500 because that's telling me I used that 4 500 times. Subtract 
that gives me 986. Now I can't do another 2000 because I only have 986 left. So let me look at my next biggest multiple that I could use. Well, I can use 400. And that's four times 100. I'm gonna circle the 100, subtract that out. That is 586. And so I'm gonna subtract out another 400. And that's four times 100. And I circle that 100 again because that tells me how many times I use that four. And that's 186. And so now, obviously, I can't take out another 100, uh, 400 because I only have 186. I can't do 200, but I can do that 80. Let me do 80. And that's four times 20. So I'm going to circle the 20, subtract that. That gives me 106. And I could do another 80. That's four times 20. That's another um, 80 that I'm taking out there. And that's 26. So now I need to go, oh, look, I can do this. I could do four times five, which is 20. And that leaves me with six. And then I can do four, which equals four times one, circle that. And that leaves me with two. So since that two down here is less than my divisor, I know my remainder is two. And now my quotient, the step three, Step three is to add all of my circled numbers and that tells me what my quotient is. So 500 plus 500 is 1,000. Uh, 1,100, 1,200, 1,220, 1,240, 1,245, 1,246. So 1,246 and that was 500 plus 500 which equals 1,000. And then 100 plus 100 is 1200 so we can see how I did that and then 20 plus 20 is 40 and then 5 plus 1 is 6 so that's 6 4 2 1 so that is step 3 now um, they don't have to take out um, let's say they went here but if they realized okay if I did four times a thousand that would give me four thousand they can do that as well. So if they go to start and they realize, oh, you know what, if I did another multiple of this, I could go higher and then I'd only have to deal with 986, it would save me a step. So, and I tell the kids, you use whatever facts are friendly to you. These are typically always friendly to fourth graders. Pretty much every fourth grader knows those or has a, the quick ability to solve those. Um, but if you know four times 12, you can use four times 12 and multiples of that. If you are comfortable with four times nine and you know it, you can do that multiples of that. So it, when we say friendly facts, it's what are friendly to you as the learner. And now the step number four, and let me go to another page for this. And this does seem like a longer process, but this is actually, um, this gives children who maybe aren't as comfortable with their multiplication facts, it does give them the ability to be successful. So on homework tonight, students should be trying this with their two practice problems. And we are going to have uh, more practice with this on Friday. Um, Wednesday and Thursday, they have iReady Math, so we won't have our math instruction. But on Friday, we are going to visit this again. So don't fret if they're not 100%, um, if they aren't gathered, if they aren't getting it 100%. I just want them to attempt so I can see what they tried and see where I need to help. That's what I want. And the last step, I'll just do it here since it's on this page. The last step is to check our work using our partial products. So I know that I need to multiply my quotient here times my divisor, and then I add in my remainder. So that is 1,000 times 4, 200 times 4, 40 times 4, and 6 times 4. And then that total will be plus 2 to get my final. So this is 4,000. This is 800. This is 160. This is 24, so that's 0, 0, 0, and 4. 0, 0, 6, and 2, that's 8. 0, 8, and 1, that's 9. And that's 4, and we add 2, so it should be 4,986. 
All right, I hope this video helps. Um, let me give you, a, I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna do one more example, a little smaller example just so you can see. And maybe it might be better to try with a smaller one to get some practice. So let's do 193 divided by, let's say eight, all right? So with this particular problem, I have to do my eights table. So I'm thinking friendly facts for eights. Eight times one, eight. Eight times two, 16. Eight times five is 40. Eight times 10, 80. All right, so I can think, what are my multiples of this? So um, eight times 20 is 160. That is eight times two, which is 16, and then add a place value zero. Um, and then I know eight times 50 would be 400. So that's well over and eight times 100 would be 800. So these are my friendly facts that I wanna use. So that's step one. Step two is subtract out your partial, and they call those partial quotients because you're pulling out partial pieces. So I'm gonna look at 193. My biggest piece I can pull out is 160. And that is equal to eight times 20. And I circle my 20 because that's how many times I use that eight. Subtract, that leaves me with 33. All right, so I'm gonna go to 16 here and that's eight times two. Circle the two. So that is 13, two, that's seven, that's one, that's 17. Oh, I can do another 16. Eight times two, circle the two. That leaves me with one left over. So my remainder is one because it's less than my divisor. My divisor was eight. And then I just add all these circles together to get my quotient. 20, 22, 24. So 193 divided by eight is 24 remainder one. All right, here is the um, extra credit. All right, hope this video helps. Thanks for watching, everybody.